So you look it up way up. Geez, you get dizzy looking up. So the priest's house, um, 12th century building. So, and they have some grave markings in here. Again, so this would be the priest's house. Jeez, it would be very damp. Oh, thank you very you much. walk up the steps, have a look around the monastery. Yeah, we did that. The we already... The back of Lytton Church, there's a footbridge. Yeah. No traffic. And turn right, and it brings you up to the two lakes. Oh, so go back that way, yeah. and that's yeah. the best way. I'll just show you. Very good. I'll just show you. This is the two lakes up here, see? Yep. So at the back of this Lytton Church, there's a, there's yeah. a track over the footbridge and turn yep. right. And then you take that and it'll yeah, take you up there. And it goes around the loop, but there's no traffic. Very good. Because right otherwise you'll be yeah, putting your wife in the hands. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. thank you very much. Let's go inside. And here's where the altar would be, where they would have mass. And there's the view of the lake in front. You can see the mountains and the water feeding into it. Where are you looking to go? Uh, eventually to get to the upper lake in the packing lot that's... You can go that way, but it's not as nice. Oh, okay. So you, you follow this way and there's a few little old buildings you can see. I can know it. There's St. Kevin's Church. Mm -hmm. That's just off on the left. It's a nice little old church with a small graveyard. Okay. And then you just keep falling back. Now there is a part that's a little hilly, but it's all stairs. Okay. So it's not, take your time in that, but then mm -hmm. that go, you have a better viewpoint of the lake. Okay. And then it brings you right down to the big lake. And then you just walk around it. And the front part, if you, if you see it that way, it's really beautiful. Okay. So just, thank you. Thank no you. problem. Okay. Morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning. And today's adventure, I'm going to be taking a walk around. For the first time I've been here, it's the Glendalough area. Here's the map of the area itself. We're located right here at the Visitor Center. The Visitor Center opens up at 9.30. It's about half eight right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around, go up to the upper lake, go walk through the little village, and that there's a lower lake and an upper lake, and we'll see what, you know, Glendalough Lake has to offer. I suppose you have heard a lot of great things about the place. It's um, very scenic. Uh, a lot of people, uh, visitors to Ireland, come to the Glendalough area. So um, I thought it would be good to introduce yourselves and myself to the area. Uh, put the, uh, the directions right up here. It takes an hour and 14 minutes to get uh, from Wexford to Glendalough. When I was, uh, we were driving there, uh, we did the Google Earth, uh, Google Maps one, and took us through a scenic route. I, I think there's another way to go where you're more on the auto route or the highway into getting into uh, Wicklow. Uh, we took the scenic one and it was, we went through Avoca and uh, Rathdrum and into Loch and then into Glendo Lake. So it was a very scenic one. It's a lot of windy, beautiful roads in the countryside. So if you have the time, I suggest you take that route as opposed to the maybe the, the main one. On the way, you, you could, when you're heading back, you can get onto the auto route straight away. But right now, the weather is pretty nice. We're lucky right now. You can see it in the background. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. There's the, the mist and the hills and stuff. Um, Hopefully it stays away. There's supposedly two hours that we might get some rain, but we'll see. Um, right now we'll just get on and we'll see what the little village has and then go see the two lakes. There, this way. It's a nice little stream running through this wooden bridge. Now we're trying to orientate ourselves. Now we want to go up to the, the round tower up there, I believe that goes back to the 6th century. There's a little stream running through the brook. It's very lovely, look at the trees, the mountains around us. I think we can get there, there seems to be a little path or something up there. I don't know.
There's the Glendalock Hotel and uh, Bar and Bistro. You can get a breakfast or dinner afterwards. All day service. Vegetarian and vegan options in there too. There's a picture of the menus. Here's what you can get. Waffle wraps, waffle salad, vegetable schnitzels, chicken wings, burgers, margaritas, pizzas, fish cakes, all sorts of stuff you can get here. There's the hotel facing the mountains. Very nice view. We'll see how to get up to the round tower. Oh, there's stairs here. All right, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Take the stairs. There you go. Got my trusty hiking boots, so if it does rain, my feet should stay wet or dry. Not wet. Thing is, with Arwen, you have to always watch what the weather, because it changes quickly, and always expect rain. Here. Oh, here's another archway. Maybe that's where we should have taken. I'm sure we can get around here anyways. Here's an old graveyard. Let's try to make ourselves up and around. There we, there we go. Would have been easier to go up the archway. <laughs> Let's go see the old church first. And then we'll go see the round tower. Flashbacks to my Kilkenny vlog where we climbed the round tower in St. Canis's uh, Cathedral. Here's a nice old church, eh? Wonder if there's a way to get in. Another little building there. Let's go in. Here we are. So this is the cathedral. It's the largest church in Glendalock. Um, cathedral in 1214. Okay, let's go walk inside. Stones against the wall. And here's where that small entrance was that couldn't get in. Possible thumbnail. We'll see. Nice old building. Now I want to see the round tower. And then there's another little smaller little building up there. So there's some more graveyard. It's all surrounded the area. the round tower. Wonder if you can get into it. I 
I don't know if the GoPro picks up that, but that's beautiful there, the mountains with the uh, the clouds at the top. Okay. Drown Towers. Where companies are bell towers in the early Irish monasteries. Uh, this tower is 100 feet high and it has six floors. Um, wooden landings now uh, vanished. Um, the door is almost 12 feet above the ground, presumably uh, reached by means of movable ladders. The power was probably somewhere between 900 and 1280. So you look it up. Way up. Geez, you get dizzy looking up. Hey? No, no entry. Uh, they said it's 12, uh, 12 feet up or something. I don't. S Unless they closed up. Here it is, here. Yeah, so that was the entrance there. So you had to use like a ladder to get up to it. Alright, can you see that little building there? Yeah. A lot of these grave markings are hard to make out. Alright, look at that. Can't see a thing on that. This one's... 1826 so basically almost 200 years old three years away from 200 years old eighteen sixty six this one you have to maneuver to get through looks like an archway of Headstones. Eighteen ninety two. Here's a little. I wonder what this would be used for. Take a look at our peak inside. Here it says it. So the priest's house. Um twelfth century building. So, and then they have some grave markings in here, again, so this would be the priest's house. Jeez, it would be very damp, especially without a roof. <laughs> okay, let's go this way and see that building. See the beautiful hills behind it with the trees, they're all starting to get their leaves in the summertime. in this one or do they? Nope. Let's see what's inside here. And what's in here? I wonder what this was used for. Doesn't have a marking or explanation. There's just a sign that says it's protected by the OPW, Office of Public Works. And here, yeah, so here would be the door I have to get in. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Looks like some old church though. It's a little round tower on the top. No. Which way to go now next? Mate, we're gonna make our way walking toward down the main road. 
up to the smaller wake and then the bigger wake. But as I was walking by to head back onto the road, I saw another building in the back. I'll see if we, I don't know if we can get to it. Well, maybe not, it's fenced off. You see the sheep. It's another part of the old graveyard. A lot of old ancient um, buildings and that in the area. Go see our friends, the sheep. I'll get close to the building. Hello. Hello. There's the little sheep. They don't seem active. Only one standing up. Hello. No, they don't want to come here. So this is fenced up, but to get to that building, I don't think we can. So we'll head back to the main road. And then once we get to the main road, there's a few little shops in that we'll see. And we'll walk along the way towards the, uh, the smaller wake and then up to the larger wake. Just as I walk by again for the uh, round tower, as we're making our way towards this, the road, just remind you, uh, don't forget to uh, check out uh, Kilkenny and the Kilkenny vlog when I went to uh, the St. Kenneth's Cathedral and that round tower, like the one you see behind me, right there, you can't get up. But the one in uh, St. Kenneth's, you can. And I, uh, I highly recommend you do that. A little claustrophobic and it is quite the little workout. I think it's 120 some odd steps to get to the top. And then when you get to the top, you have the view of the whole almost the whole county of Kilkenny but you do definitely see all the city and that and it's a beautiful view uh, um, so I highly recommend it um, plus the uh, cathedral is a beautiful inside you can go and walk around it and the history and all the uh, all the history of the uh, St. Candace's Cathedral there and then we, we have the other smaller one which you'll see which is now still operating which is a uh, not too far from the the old one. So now we'll head back to the archway. This is the archway that we should have taken to get in. Instead we climbed up that wall. But no harm lost there. It's a beautiful old entrance into to go see the old church and the graves. Good morning. Okay. So the Upper Lake Car Park. So you have little Kevin's cones you can get and kitchen. So I guess I open up a little later. You get some food and coffees. Here's some little a shop that you can get some stuff, some souvenirs. Morning. Hi, morning. Still early, eh? Yeah, you, all sorts of little stuff you can get. Ah, I might come back and get one of these magnets there for Emily. We'll, come, we'll go up to the top and then we'll come back here. See you in a little bit. Oh, very good. Now, oh, thank you very you much. Walk up the steps, have a look around the monastery. Yeah, we did that. We the already. Can, the back of Little Shores is a footbridge. Yeah. No traffic and turn right and it brings you up to the two lakes. Oh, so go back that way yeah. and that's yeah. the best way. I'll just show you. Very good. I'll just show you this. This is the two lakes up here, see? Yep. So at the back of this little shore, there's a, there's yeah. a track over the footbridge and turn yep. around. And then you take that and it'll yeah. take it up there. And it goes around the loop, but there's no traffic. Very good. Because otherwise you'll be yeah. putting your wife in the hands. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. thank you very much. You we'll come back later. Very helpful. So now what we'll do is we'll, we'll go uh, up the footbridge, go to the two lakes, and when we'll come back and we'll look at getting... Uh, We'll get some uh, souvenir or something from the man who's been very helpful and he gave us a little map of the walking trails of Glendalock. So I'll turn it off now as we, and I'll start it when we go back towards the footpath bridge. Okay, so we're back at the, the old chapel here. And then if you see, if you go through the gates here, and there's that little footbridge that you, your man told us about. So we're gonna go for a walk, see the two lakes, then we'll head back to your man 
and then I'll buy a fridge magnet for Emily because she collects them and I'll see if they have a pin to add to my collection for my hat. Stay tuned and see if I, how the, uh, the magnet and the, uh, the pin hunt goes as we walk through the beautiful area in Wicklow of Glendalough. Here's the nice, calm, peaceful on this side. And we turn here, and then you got the wild, flowing, crazy little rapids there. Going. Money. Money. Yeah, yeah. People have thrown money in, probably for wish, good luck. And then the over tree branch hanging over with the moss on it looks really nice. See, the Monastic City, which is which is where we just came by. So that, like I said, I read up on it, it goes back to 600s, I think. So it was a little city. And then we just follow this footpath. And this will lead us to the uh, lakes. See the beautiful trees with the, the moss there. They have bins over, so always remember, take care of your rubbish. Leave everywhere just like you found it. Beautiful trees, you hear the birds in the background. The weather is still nice, so we're lucky. Okay. Okay, so which way do we go? Upper Lake via the Green Road. So 1.4 kilometers. Which should be about 20 minutes or so. But it's a beautiful uh, walk. You see all the, the rocks coming down. It's a beautifully paved footpath, so it's not hard on, you know, the old feet. And the old ancient trees just hanging over there. So in the summertime, they'll all be bloomed with leaves. They'll be protected from the sun. I have a thing with old trees. I love trees. So uh, don't forget to uh, give me some uh, comments on this. Let me know how you enjoyed Glendalough. If you plan on coming here. And also come up with suggestions of places to go. I have a few more that I've scribbled down and some suggestions from viewers and did some of my old research so there is lots of places that I have that I will be showing but if you have anyone in particular that you want me to go and visit and vlog let me know like I said in five months time heading off for a month to Nepal morning and I'm studying my Nepali right now Hopefully I'll be at a functioning level, like where I can, you know, order stuff, talk to people, basic stuff. I think it's coming on okay. There was a little app I've uh, downloaded a little while ago called Ling. It's a similar app as the uh, Duolingo, but Duolingo doesn't have Nepali available. This one does, but basically it's the same type format. It's very handy. Plus I try listening to radio and stuff and some TV and some YouTube videos you know they help you with the, uh, the vocabulary so hopefully I'll be functional okay Glendalough Woods Nature Reserve so this is, shows you a little bit about the area like the different creatures and ferns and trees that you have and the bushes and there's a picture of a uh, herding pigs with the old monk sitting beside so we are here and we're going there. Look at the beautiful hill of the mountains in the background. Don't know if the GoPro picks it up perfectly, but it's just fabulous with the sun beating off of the face of the mountain. So it brightens it up. It's a beautiful view. So walk around Glendalough. Like I said, we're at the end of April. So give it another month and this will all be lush green the trees will all be filled 
like I said, it's a, it ended up being about an hour and 15 minutes with the scenic route. You could probably take it another route, just use the old Google Maps for options. If you're coming from Dublin, it's not as far. You just have to head down south. So I think from Dublin, it'd probably be less than an hour to get here. Now there is bus tours available, I think, because there's lay down areas for buses. So I'm sure you can do your research on uh, Google if you're coming from overseas and you don't have the means of a car. I think you can get a bus tour to come to Glendalough uh, from most of the major cities in Dublin and that. So, but it is a very nice and peaceful, peaceful walk, beautiful area. You know, especially on a Sunday morning. And like I said, it's free. It cost us four euros for the car park. Um, now there was places around the street that didn't have, uh, you didn't have to pay, but uh, you know, four euros right where the, the visitor center is. <clears throat> now there's supposedly there's an upper car park too, so you can take that one up um, to another car park. We'll probably be walking up to it. So here's the uh, lower lake on my right. See the way that the, the water's made its way through the hills, created its own path to get to the lake. This is beautiful here, right? Eh? And, then, and there's the lake. Pick the bench here. There's no swimming, so no swimming. Although I'm not one to jump into the water anyways. Unlike other YouTubers like Harold Balder, he always likes to go. I remember seeing the video when he was in Himalayas and he went into the water and the, the glaciers. Sick man, sick man. There's the lake. Do I see any fishies from there? Looks pretty still, eh? I think there's some birds over there. Hard to see from here. It's a beautiful area though. Surrounded by mountains. Or hills. I'd say hills more or less. Mountains are different kettle of fish. I'll be seeing those in Nepal. Looking forward to seeing huge mountains. You know, I thought Ben Nevis was quite a climb, but that's only 1,345 meters. Whereas there's tons of 8,000 meter peaks in the Himalayas. I'll be doing the, uh, the Langtang Trek. That's where the village was engulfed by the, uh, the earthquake in, I think it was 2015. Um, the whole village is gone and they've rebuilt it to the side of it. So I'll be going up there in the end of September, the beginning of October. So I'll be hopefully doing plenty of vlogs in Nepal. So make sure you wanna hit that subscribe button, please. Try to increase my channel up. Um, hit the bell button to be notified. And uh, like I said, comment. It helps with the algorithms of YouTube. Um, I'm about 350 subscribers now, well over the 4,000 watch hours, so it's all positive. Like I said, I love being outdoors, seeing different experiences, and but with this, you know, after I had cancer and I started walking and then I got, did the Camino, fell in love for this, and I decided, well, this is what I'm gonna be doing. And then I was watching YouTube during the pandemic and I said well maybe I could do something like that and it's brought me out to do see different areas that I would normally not see um, like in Wexford I was here for 15 years and I'd never been to um, the top of Vinegar Hill and that's only 25 minute drive north from Wexford now I've seen like a whole bunch of things we went to Tamon to start it up at Tamon we've done the uh, Skeeter Trail in Fort Mountain, uh, Johnstown Castle, 
Kirklow Beach, Ferns, Gory, um, Bunclody. Uh, we've seen the, uh, we went to the Salty uh, Islands a few weeks ago. That's a beautiful tour just off Kilmore, I've done Kilmore. Um, did the, uh, the Bano to Cullenstown, which is uh, another interesting, you should really see that, uh, that church in Bano. It's, and it's funny because it all ties in with your, your man, the Knight Marshal there from the Hook. Like he basically um, created a lot of the stuff that you see in Wexford. Like he built Tintern Abbey, he built Hook Lighthouse. He started the the uh, the town of New Ross. He uh, built Ferns Castle. He laid the first stones in uh, Kilkenny Castle. So it all ties in. So they're all very interesting. So if you want to take a look at uh, all my vlogs you just subscribe to my channel and just look at my uh, the videos and then work your way through them it's a beautiful little walk here so after you've hit the lower lake we'll head up into the upper lake I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze But in my heart I hear the call Of my old home, Tennessee camping, no fires, make sure you clean up your rubbish, and also no drones are allowed. Here's a beautiful little picture of a waterfall, stream actually, coming down the face of the mountain. And there to the right is the car park, with food and toilets, just over there. You can see it through the trees maybe? And information office, visitor center there, Upper Lake, keep on going. So it's very well marked. Three hours going straight, and one going there. Is it? I think it was the orange one. You can go up there, I think it'll take you up there. I think it's up here, we turn left here. We do have the little maps the guy gave us, but that'd be too handy for us looking for that. <laughs> if you can hear water in the distance. Now this is interesting. You have orange arrows to the left and orange arrows to the right. Okay, let's see what this says here. Here's an information center, but it probably is not open yet. I think it only opens after half nine. So, where are we? We're here. Okay. Oh, so we just have to keep going there. It's right there. Okay. It's beautiful. Look at the color of the hills in the back. And then that beautiful tree, and the branch the way it's at the bottom. And here, 
water is feeding into the, the big lake. Let's take a look at these. <clears throat> so this is where you have the stream with the rocks and the bustling water just coming down, flowing down, all the way into the lake. Very nice. You could probably come and spend forever walking around these. So here's a little bridge here and a smaller one there. There's the look all around us. Um, site of Ke St. Kevin's Cell. Oh, it's, uh, I know the rudder's there. Let's see what this goes. Oh, there's something up here. Yeah, so we'll come back down on here and continue on this way on that beige line arrow. We'll just walk up here. This is nice. See the rocks with all the moss on it. Built up hundreds of years. A lot of nice old ruins. Refert Church. 11th century. It was built by uh, the old chieftain clan, the O'Tools. Let's go inside. Here's where the altar would be, where they would have mass. Little nook here. Small windows. Very nice. They're very, very nice. That's an old headstone right there, right? Look at these. And follow the trail back out. You want to have decent footwear though. Wouldn't be wearing no high heels. But I guess good trail runners or hiking boots would help you out. There's a duck sitting right there. I see a duck sitting there. It's a Canadian duck. You can tell by the pattern on the head. Looks like it's sleeping. Hopefully it's sleeping. Hopefully nothing bad's happened to him. 
and site of St. Kevin's Hill. So we have to go up the hill here again. Oh gosh, we're in for a climb there, people. those slabs that you could sit on if it wasn't wet. You can overlook the trees and see the big lake. You see the paths all around. There's people walking the other side of the lake. You see the view of the mountain. Now we'll keep pushing on. And now we made it back to the place where we turned off originally to go up the, the hill to that little viewpoint. Couldn't really find that St. Kevin's cell. Went to a circle place and it sort of like cut off, but maybe if you know where it is in the comments, put them in the comment section. So we're back where the stream runs into the big lake. It's a nice little walk. few steps to go up. I'm gonna have to start getting into some serious training for Nepal. Probably looking at the end of June. That'll give me three months, you know, to do serious training. You know, obviously walking and it's, it's good for the whole, uh, the normal side, but you wanna work on steps and like get some uh, proper hill walking. Look at this. It's a nice little tree overhang. There's a small little pedestrian bridge. And then here's the big lake. There's a couple of uh, birds in the water there. Here's a picture of Glendalock. And then feeds in from the mountains. See the mountains with the water running down into it. It's very scenic. There's places around all over the place to sit down if you're dressed up, have picnics. Or you can also go to the restaurant. Take a look. It's a beautiful uh, place to spend the afternoon. So if you're uh, in Ireland, make sure you uh, make uh, Glendalock as one of your places to stop and view the, the pretty surroundings of Ireland. So we're making our way back. So there's the Glendo Lake Upper. Now we're making our way back towards your man that had the little stall and we'll see if we can find a little fridge magnet for Emily and maybe a pin for myself. They have all sorts of souvenirs and stuff and maybe we'll get a bite to eat or something. We'll take a look at, uh, at how beautiful it is. There's someone going for a swim. There's your man going for a dip. So you can go swimming here, I think. Just no diving, I don't know. Your man's in there anyways. Here's a duck right here.
cool. It's a beautiful day right now. So we, uh, we got lucky with the, uh, the storm clouds. There's something in the middle there. It looks like an old building. And there's the view of the lake in front. You can see the mountains and the water feeding into it. It's a beautiful scene out here. So it's definitely worth your visit if you come to uh, Ireland, make your way to Wicklow. It's a beautiful look. Look at that. No little boats on it. A little paddle boat would be nice. You know? There's your man drying off from the swim. Hello. Hi. I wonder how cold the water is. You see there's more and more people coming as it gets later on in the day. Like I'm sure on a Sunday afternoon it'd be absolutely thronged with people. I think we came at the right time. Get here early. You can bring your dogs there. It says it all over. Uh, they just make you note know, that um, you have to have them on the lead at all time. Let's go this way. Food. But we're going to go to the uh, first place, so we'll see. We'll make our way. I'm going to turn it off. We're just going to the car park. We'll see when we get closer to your man with the little shops. So here's the upper car park. So you could park closer to the big lake. So you just drive along the road um, and then this will bring you to the car park. You see there's a bunch of, looks like scouts or cubs. And see it says dogs on lead because there's a lot of birds around. And there looks like some uh, girl guides there. So I guess they're coming up here to get some badges. There's a little booth there in case it's raining. See, you have ice cream there and you have uh, diners. And then the ever important washrooms. And we'll keep walking down this way, I think. So here's the uh, why they have the dogs on the way, because there's red grouse everywhere. So obviously it's to protect the uh, wildlife. Here's the stream. This one is on. See the nails that are put on upside down so they uh, have grip. Otherwise, it would be lethal. Wooden planks would not be fun. There's some old tree stumps there. They've all been cut down, it looks like. trees have been chopped off at the top. It's very scenic and peaceful walking through the woods and alongside of the road. And you have the vegetation to the right and left, the trees. And you hear the birds chirping away. I'm pretty sure the GoPro picks up those. Very serene. Like you said, I've seen in the car park there was a bunch of different scouts and girl guides heading up. Like I said, this place will be absolutely packed today. If the weather stays like this, I'm sure a lot of people will come for a nice walk.
Oh yeah. And now we're coming out to the lower lake. Remember we walked on the other side of the, the mountainside. Now we're on the roadside coming back. Making our way to where the, the uh, hotel is, the Glendalough Hotel. And where they had those little snack places and ice cream places and then also the, uh, the gift shop. see the round tower in the distance. Don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but it's right in the backdrop of the mountains there. You can see people on the other side of the lake with dogs. Letting their dogs get in a little swim. Is it the small lake or the lower lake? Probably the lower lake is more appropriate. Because they seem to call them the lower lake and the upper lake. Although smaller and bigger works for me too, so there's a bench along the way where you could sit, rest your feet, and look at the beautiful lake in front of you with the mountains in the background. And you see there's a little grave marker or something there. Morning. some season walkers in front of us. Now there is some uh, strenuous courses you could take around here too. So you've seen the, the four, uh, looks like they're mountain walkers. And uh, you could take a, make it into a good workout too, or you could take it into a leisurely stroll as well. So depending on your, your condition or your, you know, if you're here with some older people or kids or stuff like that, or babies and dogs, you know, there's something for everyone. And as we come up the trail, I guess you can go on the air side there, but we'll just keep walking. And you can see in there's the uh, the old chapel where we crossed over the bridge when we started the uh, the hike around the lakes. And look at the little birds eating their breakfast. Definitely lucky, lucky with the old weather. I thought for sure we'd get rained on for the whole two hours or three hours or whatever we're walking around. It was grim when they left Wexford, it was pouring down. Then when we got outside Gory and that, it sort of tapered off a bit. And then when it got into Wicklow, it was nice and sunny. Let's see what the viewpoint is from here. Looks like I lost a whale. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of hard to get lost. You just follow the paths and they'll all lead you to somewhere. And they'll all go back around to the start of the, the, the hike. I'm actually getting a little uh, sweaty there. It is quite warm. I'd say it's about 12 to 14 degrees today in the sun, so. Morning. 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 Hello. Very friendly. Morning. Walk. 
So walking by there, I noticed there was someone speaking French and someone speaking German. So like I said, a lot of people come here from all over because it is a beautiful scenic leisure we walk around in the peaceful. Salut. Not the photo bomb there, selfies. Not sure what language they were speaking. Like I said, you get a mix of everyone. So remember, when you're in Ireland. Head down the N11, get off of Wicklow, and there's a lot of little places in Wicklow. So I was thinking about there's a few places that I can do in the next little while. You know, there's the old village of Awoka, there's uh, the jail, there's the mountains, there's, there's plenty of little options. It's a very scenic, mountainous little county. And there you see the chapel there on the left with the sheep. They're up and moving now. Remember before, when we started, they were all lying down. So they had their morning siesta. Now they're starting to eat, eat their breakfast. Or is it lunchtime? Don't really have watches. I don't, I have a bunch, I never wear them. You know, there's always the phone if you really, but I couldn't be arsed. Not under uh, any sort of time clock here. There's the old sheep with the round tower in the background and that old building. And a very peaceful little stream running through. You hear the birds chirping. Very peaceful. So this trail that we were on when we started I think it will branch off here this is where we kept on going to the right like the like your man's going with his wife and we went to the left and then we're back on the same trail so we took the other trail up there before where are you looking to go You can go that way, but it's not as nice. Oh, okay. So you, you follow this way, and there's a few little old buildings you can see. I can know it. There's St. Kevin's Church. Mm -hmm. That's just off on the left. It's a nice little old church with a small graveyard. Okay. And then you just keep falling back. Now, there is a part that's a little hilly, but it's all stairs. Okay. So it's not take your time in that, but then mm -hmm. it go, you have a better viewpoint of the lake. Okay. And then it brings you right down to the big lake, and then you just walk around it. And the front part, if you, if you see it that way, it's really beautiful. So just thank you. Thank no you. problem. There's a lot of people coming now. <laughs> Jesus, tons of people. I think we got in at the right time and out. I think the buses have arrived. So now we cross over on this side and get back. Looks like a school tour. German. A German school bus tour. There's all the little doggies. Squeeze your hands are full. <laughs> <laughs> then we're back up to the old church. Like, isn't this a beautiful view? As you're walking back.
Lots of people, eh? We definitely came at the right time. So while we're weaving, everyone's just coming here. And then back to the entrance where we came in to the car park and then we'll just we'll just head up to that little shop place and see if I could find some hat pins for my collection and the uh, magnet for Emily and maybe get a bite to eat I know why else said he wasn't hungry but I'm kind of peckish they have a few options in the restaurant, the bistro there. So here's a whole bunch of stuff here. That wasn't here when we were here. Jeez. Just opened up. But I'm gonna go to your man. He helped us out with the mat. So if you want the uh, fish and chips or coffee. Here. Here's your man. Here's your man with the, uh, the maps. See what he has there. Chakra stones, mugs, cute little stuffies. You didn't get lost. Didn't get lost. It was beautiful. Thank you. Brass plates. Here's the Glendalock. There's all sorts of them there. Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you. Geez, a lot of people are going there now. I think we got lucky. Whoops. Five second rule. Okay, so maybe I'll get this. See if they have any pins. I'll ask your man. Well, here's some pins here. Not sort of what I want. I was looking sort of more. Do they have anything for Glenda Luck? Oh, he has a sum up machine. Oh, yeah. Do you have any hat pins? Like, go with my gun. But anything for, like, I've seen there's a few Irish ones, but you have anything for Gendalock or? No. No, eh? You see, these all these centers are Gendalock. But the half. Oh, yeah. yeah. The half and the Kentish cross. Oh, I got one of them. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Sorry about that, sir. No, jeez. Yeah. No harm there. How much is the uh, the magnet? Four euro? Yeah. All righty. Let's open up the Federal right. Reserves. Ah, oh, sure. Have you got helps? Yeah. And the Irish in the blood? Oh yeah, I live in Wexford now. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've been here 15 years. Oh, I'm, I have a patty there, so. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless. God bless. So, four euros for the magnet for Emily. We'll still be on the quest for uh, trying to find um, a hat pin. I'll see if they have anything. If not, there's no bother. And, uh, see some Marin sweaters. Jumpers. These water bottle holders, I think. Oh no, backpacks. Little backpacks. Socks. And then the old souvenir coin. Remember they had one similar to this at the uh, Hook Lighthouse. So you put a two euro coin and get a souvenir. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do that just for, for the crack. I didn't get one at the Hook Lighthouse, so we'll get one here. There we go. So it's the uh, Ireland, and then there's the tower. So we got that. So this is located just, oh there's a youth hostel up here and then the car park 
up ahead. We'll go take a look in here, see if they have any, and then we'll walk around. I don't know. See what they have here. Jeez, all sorts of stuff. There's some more ma uh, magnets. Very good. And then this way to the visitor center.